IC814 web series. Is it an effort at revising of what actually happened and what the future generations will see via this web series? It's good to be friends. But even it's taken to ridiculous levels. But the point is, when Pulwama happened, for example, what was the first reaction of this lobby? Let's not at any level warmonger. Cut back to 2611, a senior army commander comes out and says, look, there are things that we can do to teach the Pakistanis a lesson. But guess what the government of the day does? No, 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 we can't exercise that. Bigger problem with the series which I have is, there is a military general wearing three stars on his patches inside the air traffic control room saying, nahi, Musharraf sahab nahi denge permission because he doesn't want any bloodshed on Pakistani soil. Boss, that is my problem. Yeah. The, the whole thing was orchestrated by Musharraf Saab and his ISI. These makers, when they made Fire, they changed the names. Mm. When they made Sherni, they changed the names. When they made IC814, why didn't they put the disclaimer right at the top? Why didn't they show who were the real puppet? Ultimately, what happened? They got away with just putting the disclaimer on Bhola and Shankar. The rest of the series is the same. The whitewashing no, is still the same. There has always been a need to preserve this carefully crafted illusion of Muslim victimhood in this country. Mr. Ashwini Vaishnav and his team need to go back and say, is Bola and Shankar the critical aspect or the fact that uh, ISI has been absolved and an act of terror has been played out as a bumbling mis mistake of bumbling officials of our country. That's a problem. If the web series is being made in my country, it has to be showing the issue of my country and, the, and highlight the enemy.